Uh, hi. Uh, good evening. Um, guests of honor, distinguished guests, teachers, and fellow students. I am Jasper Tan from San Diego Secondary School, and I'm representing my school um, to present this uh, presentation. Yeah. Basically, our team is called Colors of Life, and I'll share with you more about it later. Okay, firstly, first and foremost, I'd like to introduce my group. Firstly, um, I am the group leader. My name is, once again, Jasper. Yeah, and my assistant leader is Mabel, then followed by the person who's in charge of administration, Fong Khoi, and the people from logistics, Wing Wai and Dominic, finance, Anting, programs, King Kok and Sien Yong. Unfortunately, some of my members cannot come, um, cannot be present here today, so only five of them are here today. Okay, basically, um, my group uh, went, uh, committed ourselves to this whole project and we had to make sacrifices. One of such is we had to meet every single, every Wednesday from 7.30 to 8.30 for the planning of our project. Yeah, so um, it required a lot of commitment and sacrifices because sleep is important too. <laughs> Yes, so, and of course, we also met up with our teacher advisor, Mr. Chang, every month yeah, to talk about our progress. Okay, so um, we went through um, this brain, whole brainstorming process, and yeah, I think, so we, we sat down and discussed on what we wanted to do, and I think it's very important that each and every member shares what they want to do, because, yeah, it's important because it lets everyone feel that a sense of, belonging and that they belong to this group and so that they want to contribute more. Yeah, so um, bullying, orphanage, AIDS patients, families with low incomes are some of those that we narrowed down to. And yeah, it, this whole process is part of our decision-making process. Yeah, so after um, much discussion, we came down to um, Kenosoville Children's Home we linked up with them, talked to them about what we wanted to do. We shared our project, handed them our proposal, and we proposed a program. But unfortunately, we were rejected. <laughs> yes, so um, truth be told, I myself felt very discouraged because, I mean, like, after like, being the leader and after going through so much hard work of like, linking up with them, you got rejected. Yeah, I felt discouraged and unmotivated, but I guess um, I learned to pick myself up through this and learn to persevere, and I guess that's one of the qualities of um, community service and service learning, to not give up even when the going gets tough. Yep. So, we held an extraordinary meeting, EOM for short. We went through the whole brainstorming process once again, and yeah, I think I really had to tell each and every member, you know, not give up. And there was also like this sort of panic that went on because like everybody was like, oh no, oh no, how is this going to happen? So yeah. So in the end, we managed to get another organization like quite soon after, thank God. And yeah, we got, um, we linked up with St. Hilda's Primary School and the target group is the, the pupils under the financial assistance scheme from primary three to primary five. So what are our, our objectives is to show love, care for the less fortunate and to encourage them that their lives are valued. Yeah. So why the FAS kids? To en we want to encourage them that, to, that their, life, their lives are valued to help them see that life can be as meaningful as it can be although they might be financially deprived. And we also would like to help them discover that they themselves are the real treasures in life. So why would I say why why would I say that? It's because yeah we have meaningful um, games and talks and one of such is um, the treasure hunt game that we want to have. And okay, what is this about? Okay, usually treasure hunt games is all about um, let me think yeah um, like you know you have to find the treasure and things like that. But this time when they find the treasure, the the, the when they piece together the pieces. The treasure is actually themselves. We want them to see that they themselves are the treasure in life. Yeah. And then we also like to, be, to befriend them and encourage them after the project. And so how would we like to do this is 
to of course um, link up with them, continually link up with them after everything, after the whole um, the project is done. Yeah, so that so that we so that they can know that this is not just a one time thing, uh, but it will continue on and on, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, so what are our learning points for this whole um, pre, um, service learning is yeah, perseverance and patience when we face with challenges. Yeah, because um, yeah, I think my group is they can be quite hard to handle at times and I think through this <laughs> taught me how to persevere and yeah, be patient with them and of course like times when we were rejected it also taught us to persevere on. And of course it also teaches us to manage different expectations from different team members. Yeah. And also to planning uh, to plan and organizing the events. Um, that really meet their needs because sometimes I think when we are doing service learning we often forget that um, the real objective of what we want to do we only do like the, the, the things that, um, that accommodate us but we often forget what the, 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 the organization actually wants and yeah so it really taught us to really go through this whole thinking process and it also taught us to make sacrifices to serve to serve the community because sometimes, yeah, like I said earlier on, sleep is important and things like that. And we also quite stressed with school. Yeah, so I think through this it taught us to make sacrifices to manage our time well enough. Yeah, and of, of course, to, um, it's also to reflect on my life because sometimes I think, um, I mean, through this whole community, community service, it taught me, um, like, it taught me to reflect that, where, like what I want to say to the kids. Do I really walk my talk? You know, like when I say, um, you are the real treasure in life. Do I really see myself as a treasure? Yeah, so yeah, I think this whole process taught me to think through of whether I am viewing myself correctly. And yeah, I think I reflected and yeah, I hope it's good. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to end off my pre uh, presentation, I'd like to say thank you. Um, of course, to Lian Foundation for providing this opportunity, for giving us this opportunity to do this whole community service. So, yeah, thank you once again. <laughs>